Russia probe days before he was dismissed. Tonight, growing calls for a special prosecutor as the president meets with Putin's top diplomat. Toxic tunnel, a delicate mission after the sudden collapse at the nation's most contaminated nuclear waste site. Sudden impact, a new warning tonight. How many kids are being rushed to the ER, not wearing helmets when they hit the road? And inspiring America, the kindness of strangers is in the mail. Nightly news begins right now. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening. The White House is taking fire from inside and out tonight over President Trump's sacking of FBI Director James Comey amid questions of how it all went down and a possible ulterior motive. The White House maintains Comey was axed for sloppy handling of the Clinton email investigation. Today, President Trump spoke publicly on the matter. Mr. President, why did you fire Director Comey? Why did you fire Director Comey? Because he wasn't doing a good job, very simply. He was not doing a good job. But the president's explanation is not going over well inside the FBI and among some members of Congress where there is suspicion Comey was let go because of his investigation of the Trump campaign and possible collusion with the Russians. Tonight, congressional sources say Comey was seeking to step up his investigation at the time of his firing, as we also learn new details of how his dismissal unfolded. Our justice correspondent Pete Williams starts our coverage. James Comey has said nothing publicly since his firing remaining home. But FBI insiders tell NBC News that many at FBI headquarters believe he was fired because he would not end the Russia investigation, something the president clearly wanted over, tweeting two days ago, when will this taxpayer-funded charade end? The Justice Department and the White House say the final steps in firing Comey, who hustled back to Washington after getting the word in Los Angeles, came just two days ago at the White House. Administration officials say President Trump met with Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and said he wanted to talk about his concerns that Comey should be fired. Rosenstein said he had reached the same conclusion, officials say, and agreed to put his thoughts on paper, which became the three-page memo blasting Comey's handling of the Clinton email investigation. Congressional sources say Comey asked Rosenstein last week for more resources for the Russia investigation, but a Justice Department official says that request was never made. A White House spokeswoman says the president has been thinking since he took office that Comey should go, believing in part that Comey was not respected by the agency he led. The rank and file of the FBI had lost confidence in their director. Accordingly, the president accepted the recommendation of his deputy attorney general to remove James Comey from his position. Current and former agents say that's not true, that while some thought Comey mishandled the Clinton email investigation, they didn't lose confidence in him. He's a good man. He, he's well-intentioned. He's well thought of. Uh, law, the law enforcement community thinks very highly of him. And it's, uh, it's just a terrible thing that's happened here. People throughout the FBI are in shock at the firing, which came with no warning. As for the investigation of Russia's hacking during the election and whether any Trump campaign associates were involved, that work goes on, but some former officials say the firing casts a cloud. If you're an investigator, you have to ask yourself, uh, how much evidence do I need to support my claims at this point? Um, when will I be believed or, or not be believed? Some in Congress say by playing a role in the firing, Attorney General Sessions violated his pledge to keep hands off any investigations involving the campaign. But officials say it was a personnel decision about Comey's leadership, not about any investigation. For now, DOJ is looking at five... Director Lester. All right, Pete Williams tonight. Pete, thanks. Many inside the FBI were shocked by Comey's firing, including Comey himself. But tonight, NBC News has learned that his dismissal came so abruptly, many within the White House were also caught by surprise. NBC News Chief White House correspondent Hallie Jackson has the timeline of how it all went down. Tonight, new details on the 24-hour scramble inside the White House after the decision to dismiss James Comey that stunned even insiders. By 5 p.m. Tuesday, an increasingly fed-up president had made up his mind to fire his FBI director. But in the moments before 5.40, when the news broke, a top White House source tells NBC's Stephanie Rule some key aides hadn't even heard about the firing. Instead, they watched it flash across cable, growing angry, not about what the president did, but how it was revealed, frustrated by the lack of strategy. 
By six, the president had called nine senators, but not Comey. Yeah. No matter how. Following protocol was the best thing to do. President Trump, who used to fire people for a living, you're fired, you're fired, fired, fired. Instead, dispatched his longtime security head to hand deliver a letter to FBI headquarters. One former senior intelligence officer describes the dismissal as humiliating, instant execution. By 9 p.m., White House advisors, surprised by the blowback, blitz TV in split screen coverage that showed Comey's motorcade heading back to LAX as he flew off literally into the sunset. Because he wasn't doing a good job, very simply. He was not doing a good job. That's not what the press secretary said a week ago. The president has confidence in, in the director. Now? The president had lost confidence in Comey from the director. He's quite for needing not No, I have a they are they are well get at Reaper and meeting Richard Mose. At those since from and last question defiant it's a long way strong active leader clear on will him he initiate I'm not your conversation President Trump trail Today. I've seen the wars of Luke Daniel, Vice President, White House Counsel, Lee, Administration. The president's alone. Thanks, and from both the aisle and Democrats, prosecution between the Trump and Russia. So, and see more from a month. Is a wow. And Democrat Republicans critical for Birch that intelligence. The reason uh, and uh, I don't would clarify that in any way. The one that an impact echo to the time. Senate rest, sir. But Republican is today will not for new and all work and to not cover how also clearly within believe him. The department's special position in, in the U.S. Some East pick the I direct. I will. Any director, unless there is support for a special prosecutor. Tonight, even the vice president is firing back. That are looking into this is melody cloud and this and make it 
Buzzkill intelligence act like that the issue uh, to their mic related thing. Thank you. We're seeing Well, they're not now over skeptics, but they're not Democrats are to prosecute good. Actually, many that because the point they ever got all of the other investigations more likely than Senate commission stop commission vote vote on that. But I think you need to uh, climb on board. Tough. On the hit, the FBI director had only a list of scheduled meeting with Vlad Putin's top Russian director in the Our correspondent. Russian diplomat Clinton. Trump fires the FBI director investigating possible between the campaign and Russian hacking. The Comey firing shadow talks. What's the fire? You Sergey months before heading to the White House. All, all reporters were fired, but just photographers let in. Russian news agents seeing more than 20 photos of the angle. President Trump and foreign. President Russian a central the controversy hired national as your Michael was released by the White House. It was released about what but we know that they agree on one the Russian fake news. Vladimir Putin after a celebrity asked by CBS will affect US Russia relations. There will be no effect. We have nothing in accordance with his competence, his law and constitution, Russia's foreign minister challenged reporting. President Trump President Trump that all of this news can no proof. Well, it's not congressional investigators noting. Just you can't make up. I have to notice uh, is more consistent on point with the president's message than Sean Spicer is. And the Russians also beat the White House to the punch today, announcing that the president and Putin will meet for the first time since Mr. Trump took office in Germany this summer in July at a summit. The White House will only say they're still talking about it. Lester. Andrea Mitchell at the State Department tonight. Thank you, Andrea. Tomorrow, I'll travel to the White House for the first interview with the president since his firing of the FBI director. It's an NBC News exclusive. We'll have it for you right here on NBC Nightly News. Still ahead tonight, we'll have more on the day's other headlines, including the dangerous operation at the largest nuclear waste site in the nation after a radioactive scare there. Also, child safety alert, a warning over something that sends 50 kids an hour to emergency rooms. Stay with us. Why does Duke take Cosequin? So he can get up and down the stairs. Keep them moving with Cosequin Joint Health Supplements. Why does Walter take Cosequin? So he can keep up with the ladies. Go, dog. Keep them moving. Cosequin Health Supplements. I never miss the morning market, but with my back pain, I couldn't sleep or get up in time. Then I found a Leaf PM. The only one to combine a sleep aid plus the 12 hour pain relieving strength of Aleve. And now I'm back. Aleve PM for a better AM. Would you like to be a Publishers Clearinghouse winner next month? <laughs> you could win $2 million plus $10,000 a month for life and a new car. Go to pch.com and enter. June 30th, you could win it all.